Hi guys, so whenever there's some dodgy money about, you can be certain Brexiteers aren't too far away. Well, that seems to be the case when it comes to our good friend, the Right Honourable Gentleman from the 1800s, Jacob Rees-Mogg. Now, according to media reports, an investment company started by Mogg has, surprise, surprise, connections to a Russian billionaire, but not just any Russian billionaire, one that has been sanctioned recently by Jacob Rees-Mogg's own government. The man sanctioned is called Gennady Timchenko, who is in charge of the energy and transport company Volga Group. But Mr. Timchenko is also the director of a company called Novatech, which is invested in by Somerset Capital Management, the company that Jacob Rees-Mogg received a £600,000 dividend from last year. The Russian is the 78th richest person in the world and he's thought to sit on a fortune worth almost £17.5 billion. Now, while he's been untouched by the British until last week, he was placed under sanctions by the US government almost 10 years ago. While this week he's had his assets frozen, he holds almost a quarter of the shares in the biggest private gas company in Russia, Novatech. Jacob Rees-Mogg's company invested £5.7 million in Novatech for its clients. Timshenko once told the newspaper, and I quote, You have to pay for everything in your life even for your relationship with the president. The company that was founded by Mogg was asked for a statement and they said the following. Jacob Rees-Mogg no longer works at Somerset Capital and has had no role in any of the firm's investments decisions for over a decade. Any partnership interest in Somerset is held in abeyance in accordance with ministerial code. Now, the Brexit Opportunities Minister was in the news again recently when he sold shares in a bank called Spurbank, which has been under EU sanctions since 2014 and UK sanctions just recently. Now, Mogg sold his shares in the company before the UK imposed sanctions on the bank. Of course, nothing wrong here. I'm sure the selling off of the shares that are worth £44.5 million and the bank facing sanctions some time after, are completely unrelated. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.